We got a yin yang going on right here. This is the Ace Magic AX15. And this is a 15 inch laptop. So we have a 1080p IPS display. And then for the yang, we have an N95 CPU. That's a four core CPU from Intel. And they're only efficiency cores. You don't get any of the high powered cores. But you got 16 gigabytes of RAM. But you only have a 512 gigabyte uh, M.2, which is probably enough for a lot of you out there. We've got a full size beautiful keyboard it's kind of about balance is what i'm saying here and this is on sale for a really really good price 359 on their website this price for an ips display that's 1080p and 16 gigabytes of ram is a really good deal this is where i've been getting my windows keys for the last couple of years right here on whokeys.com they're my longtime sponsor as well so thanks for that the difference is this is an oem key so it's tied to the hardware but you'd have to buy this 10 or 12 times to make it equal the cost of retail the other difference is you'll be doing your own tech support here because you don't get the microsoft tech support and i don't think any of us have ever used microsoft's tech support so you can get windows 11 pro you can get windows 10 pro you can also get windows 10 home and then we have three flavors of office 2021 2019 and 2016. But if you use coupon code TS25, we're going to bump that up to 25% off. Just go ahead and add what you need to your cart, putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated don't waste your money on a ridiculously priced key from Microsoft when you can get them right here. So say thanks to Hookies and grab a copy of Windows at a price that makes sense. You know, something at this price point, if I had to choose something to, to take away or whatever, I'd say, all right, give me the 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'll take an N95 CPU that's only efficiency cores. That'll still allow me to do plenty of multitasking and it's still going to feel pretty snappy, but it might not have the horsepower and the muscles to do some like really heavy lifting when it comes to creative work or 3D editing or something like that. So that's not what this computer's for. It's also not for like brand new modern Unreal Engine AAA whatever games uh that's not for that but it can play a lot of games and of course you know i'm going to put a lot of games on there but first let's finish going through the specs on this the boost on that n95 is only up to 3.4 if you're not doing anything crazy those four cores can handle a bunch of stuff web browsing opening and do whatever movies videos and playing some older games just fine now when it comes to the ins and outs well on one side we have a tf card reader which is sd card it's a little one and then we have usb 2.0 usb 3.2 right behind that and then a 3.0 five millimeter uh, headphone jack on the other side we have a, a type c and that's the dc jack in the back there and then we also have a usb 3.2 type a have hdmi on the side and one more usb type c and that's just for regular usb stuff not just for charging so it does have more ins and outs than a lot of these super slim laptops and this is super slim that's another thing that like, it's very hard to find something that has like this very sleek almost ultra book or it is an ultra book form factor at this price range with when it comes to the hinge it's full 180 so you can lay it all the way back if you wanted to one other thing to note on the top of the bezel there there is a webcam that's a 720p camera another thing about the n95 core is it uses very low power we're talking 15 watts that's all that that core needs so it's really efficient now they haven't made it extremely heavy with the ginormous battery uh, but we still have a 38,000 kilowatt hour battery and they're advertising that it lasts about five hours playing video now if we look at the keyboard here i do like the layout a lot in fact i like the layout better than my fancy big name brand <laughs> laptop that i'm not going to bring into this video but yeah i like the layout a lot they put the control and the function buttons in the right spot uh, the keyboard feels nice to, to type on it's you know they're chiclet keys they feel nice and then we also have a number pad so it's nice to have a 15.6 inch laptop that's this slim and sleek with also a number pad and then a very large 6.1 inch uh, touchpad. I'm not very big on touchpads, but it's pretty easy to press function, space, and turn it off. If you want to keep it on, by all means, keep the touchpad on. It's one of those that doesn't have any buttons. You just, I guess, push the whole thing down or whatever. It works. Gets the job done. All right, it's 3.7 pounds and 0.7 inches thick. So if you're someone who wants a, a good laptop for traveling that's low power, but still let you, you know, like have a little bit of fun. You can do a lot of stuff at the same time because 16 gigabytes of RAM, then there you go. And this one came installed with Windows 11 Pro. Luckily we do have Pro on here, which you can do a lot more with. And I always configure mine to my heart's desires as well. Let's take off the back. 
get it naked and see what it's got going on under under there. So not a lot, it turns out. It's very easy to take off the back, just these screws, you remove them. And then we just have the one lonely M.2 slot just hanging out back there. That's it, there's not another one. I was so hoping that I would open it up and be like, yay, another M.2, oh, there's only one. So there's only one. Now, here's the part where I'm gonna get a little bit frustrated with, uh, with Ace Magic. So there's only one M.2, and I wanted to clone that over to a bigger drive so I could have like a two terabyte in there instead of the 512 gigabytes. But that's very difficult to do because I don't have, I didn't have a computer with extra slots to do these, do the cloning. I tried cloning it with USB, but that failed. So sometimes USB cloning does not work very well. It's not the best way to do it. So I was not able to clone my drive correctly. And I was like, you know what? This is just an Intel machine. I'll reinstall Windows. So I put Windows 11 on the two terabyte drive installed it and once i got it installed i couldn't figure out what the chipset was i looked at all the stuff and maybe i'm dumb and i'm missing something but there's no drivers on the website so please get some drivers on the website i know you're watching right now i, I like it it's great just give me some drivers on the website or tell me what the chipset is or tell me to tell me where to find them i found some of the intel drivers but not all of them so i wasn't i finally just gave up and put the old hard drive back in for now but if you are watching this video, please put the drivers on your website. And uh, by the way, I was clicking around on some other drivers for the other systems to see if there's anything similar. Some of those were dead links. All driver and support links should be working or else it's gonna cause extra customer service headaches. You don't want the power users taking things apart and being like, I can't fix this, there's no drivers. And then under the hood, we also have one stick of RAM. And this is, I think, 2666 DDR4. So if you wanna swap that out, well, it's just single channel. You're gonna have to swap it out and just have single channel, which is not unheard of for laptops these days, especially low cost, low power laptops. It's not the biggest deal. You'll get a little better performance out of dual channel and I would prefer dual channel on my gaming rigs and stuff. But speaking of gaming, let's go ahead and try out some games on this and just see how they run. Indie games work really well. I mean, like talking like indie side scrollers and you know, a lot of the modern indie games that don't have ridiculous triple, I graphics they call it nowadays instead of triple a yeah those games work very well um, and then older games work really well too but i'll get to that after we talk about the emulators so emulators work really well too uh, gamecube and everything just completely smooth so you can play your backlog of older games roms emulators that works just fine but this is really important i wanted to try this so i put oblivion on there and it's not just regular oblivion this is Oblivion with like 70 mods. So I modded up Oblivion. I don't know if the version you're looking at right now has all the mods, but I, I put them on there afterwards. So I was really excited of how well it worked. And we're getting well over 60 FPS. It runs great at 1080p. So you can play older games like Oblivion, Morrowind. Um, we're talking thousands of hours of enjoyment right here on your laptop. And you can mod them up. So play a lot of your backlog. That's one of the things I kind of like about uh, machines that are that are not able to play like the super crazy AAA games. They remind me of when gaming was good. 2023 was pretty good. I called Baldur's Gate and saved the day. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, I do recommend this. Let's see here, do we have a full on? There we go, yeah, this is the, this is modded. Yeah, there you go. See my fancy modded version of the game? Yeah, this is modded, there we go. And you can see once I get all the mods in there, I wanted to go to a city that has all kinds of architecture. We're still getting around 40 something FPS, 50 when you're, not facing like the open area. You could probably turn down the draw distance a little bit and increase that greatly. But yeah, we're hitting 50, 60 FPS, hitting the V-Sync right there. So there you have it, the Ace Magic AX15, a 15 inch laptop with some compromises that make sense to me, especially at this price point, make a lot of sense to me. Uh, something I do recommend with those caveats of knowing that you gotta get those drivers on their website, Ace Magic, so we can download them and upgrade and all that stuff with ease. I wanna be able to put a bigger M.2 in there with ease. That would be great, being able to store all kinds of old games and stuff on there. It'd be a fun system for that. So anyway, yeah, interesting system. Nice and balanced with that price. And uh, I do like the choices that they've made for this unit. It does what it's supposed to do and it does it right. Last but not least, I will remind you one last time. You're not gonna to get too many more reminders. 50% off until January 1st. And all this good stuff, all this wonderful stuff right here. This would be great for that laptop. Now just plug it in, play your games all day long. Maybe some of these things for that laptop. All right, anyway, you're all awesome. I'll see you in the comments.